self-infected in a week. The virus causes fits of madness. People are dying, but then rising from the dead. Hordes of zombies already numbered in millions. This issue of overpopulation is becoming too acute. But how do you propose to solve it? <laughs> In 2021, some Chinese citizens were infected with an unknown virus. The virus turned them into zombies. Due to the high population density, the virus spread very quickly. The government deployed the army to contain the disease. Every day, the virus was spreading to new territories. Thanks to discipline and coordinated work, the troops in the central district quickly organized a defense line, unlike the eastern part of the country. Desperate groups of soldiers are trying to resist the zombie armies alone. To support China, advanced units from the UN and the US were sent to the infected area. We need the support! It's hellfire down here! Hurry up, or we're all gonna die! Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad and the good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down. I'll be getting out, you can have doubts, not what I'm about. I'll be from the clouds, if you're in it now, I keep making sound, go another round, cause I'm looking down, can't stop me now. Do you see? It is nothing. Excellent.
There is an open door over there. We need to hide there. This story originates in 2022, when an unknown Chinese citizen infected with a deadly disease arrived in Italy. The zombie virus, as it will be called in the future, began to spread rapidly across the Italian land, affecting more and more country balls. The Italian army has begun attempts to contain the disease by introducing quarantine. It was possible to strengthen in the area of Florence and in Sicily. Everything to the south has become a dead territory entirely controlled by zombies. A horde of zombies went to the north of Italy, where the main part of the Italian army is holding the defense. My money. Who can it be? I'm listening. Switzerland, help! We have hordes of zombies here. We urgently need your help. A horde of zombies? Yes. Ew. Sorry, I'm busy. This is how Switzerland met the zombie apocalypse. The Italian army had to retreat to the Arno River, where the local population managed to build fortifications. In Corsica, French intelligence saw the plight of the Italian army for support, it was decided to cover the retreat with artillery fire. Thanks to the shelling, it was possible to destroy one of the leaders of the zombies, We slowed down the advance of the horde to the north of Italy. Hey, what are we doing here? Zombies can't swim anyway. Let's go to bed. Yeah, you're right, let's go. Holding the defense on the Arno River, the Italian army is evacuating civilians and wounded from the cities of Pisa and Florence, distributing them to temporary detention camps. That's how the virus began to spread in the quarantine zone. France, fearing for its people, creates a buffer zone on the border from Nice to Geneva, evacuating all border settlements. Uh, maybe evacuate our citizens from China? Yes, you're right. We need to send a plane for them. Only the French. Attention. Only the French. You. Poland? No, you're Poland. Greece? Your plane hasn't arrived yet. Go on. Oh. Mm. 
You, 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 you. The zombies are already here. Run! The plane with infected arrived in Paris at Charles de Gaulle Airport. Ooh, my love. <laughs> Gentlemen, a moment of your attention. Well, the situation in the world is tense. The main areas of infection is China, Italy, and France. Unverified information about outbreaks of the virus on all continents. Aye. It is necessary to destroy all infected with a nuclear strike. No, Korea! Just, just close air and sea communication between countries and bring in UN troops. <sighs> The UN decides to land troops at Gargano National Park. It was from there that the infection of Italy began. Meanwhile, the zombies crossed the strait and got to Sicily. Panic enveloped the island. People began to evacuate chaotically to Sardinia, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya, unaware that they are spreading a dangerous virus. Hordes of zombies are moving north towards Brussels and the English Channel. Belgium is panicking, but Luxembourg urges them to remain calm and appeals to Germany for help. <laughs> Germany! You! Send troops to France! To send troops to France through Belgium? Yeah. Hit the zombies with a blitz. Blitz? <laughs> Poland is mine. <laughs> Today, November 11th, Poland celebrates the National Independence Day. Also, on this day, the First World War was over. Congratulations to the world and the Polish people on this day. Holland? Guten Tag, Holland. We need to help France. How did I end up here? There is no time to explain. Follow me. Holland, you're with us. At the very beginning of the epidemic, the Italian army suffered heavy losses and was forced to constantly retreat. San Marino provided support using old cannons with cores for this. The front line shifted to the Arno River. Rome was surrounded. The remaining units rallied to defend Rome and the Vatican. Thus began the great battle for Rome.
Thanks. Damn. Sir, zombies are coming. I agree. Rome is surrounded by zombies. Our headquarters is here. In the Castel Sant'Angelo. There are reports that zombies are already in the city. There is no organized defense. The soldiers are scattered chaotically around the city. In the north, zombies were able to cross the river. So a new line of defense will take place here. I suggest that everyone who is west of this line retreat and destroy the bridges. What about the others? Are we really going to abandon them? There is nothing we can do to help them. Any attempt will lead to even greater losses. <laughs> Lift me up. Yeah. <laughs> Zombies! Zombies! Lift me up! and detachments were sent to explore and establish a foothold on the coast of Italy. I told you to hold your gun tighter! Land! I see land ahead! Fog. I can't see anything. Your task. To gain a foothold on the shore and organize communication. Yes, sir. I'm going to do some scouting. As soon as we are sure of safety, we will call the main forces. Sir, yes, sir. What is it? It looks like zombies are poisoning the soil. It looks like some kind of egg. Down here! Help! What happened here? Zombie... Uh, they are raising an army. They use the living as an incubator. These eggs... These are my comrades. The same is waiting for me. throws better. We need to get the hell out of here now!
Merd. I think... I think we were reckless when we evacuated our citizens from China. I completely agree with you on this one. But now we won't be so stupid. Look, I've got a plan on saving a Paris. As we all know, the contamination started in Charles de Gaulle Airport. The police fortifications could not hold back zombies long enough and were overrun quickly. But thanks to our front military units holding key points, we were able to distract the horde and win some time to build stronger fortifications in central part of the city. In order to control crowds of zombies, we can lure them in narrow streets, build some traps or obstacles, and then burn them with napalm. Ho 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 monsieur! I think Americans would love that idea. Mm. We created an artillery outpost in Jean Viviere. They do a great job at holding back the horde and protecting our front lines. Plus, the river scene is a perfect obstacle for zombies. But won't the zombies be able to walk along the bottom of the river like in Italy? I anticipated your question, monsieur. That's why we mined the river. Excellent plan! As reliable as Swiss watch! the desperate times. <coughs> Europe <coughs> is on fire again. And life <coughs> that we deserve is lost. <coughs> Whatever. I'm sorry, Highness, but we got no time for dilly-dally. So here's the briefing. The French are about to lose Paris. And zombies seem to be very smart and organized. According to our recon, there is an alpha in the city of Amiens. Special troopers will be sent airborne to disrupt and eliminate Alpha. This will disorganize the Horde and then we will surround the Horde and crush them into pieces with one swift strike. B but who is brave enough to jump right into the Hellfire? And your obsolete fire team. For just two dollars a month, you can become one of them. 
I got some badasses just for this occasion. They're the bravest and best soldiers I've ever met. That's perfect. Move out, right now. Maps are hard to navigate. Whatever. Okay, Google. Make a route to Amiens. Road create. Five minutes until destination. Sweet. Ready in five minutes. Okay, gentlemen. You were chosen because you're the best. That's why you jump right into the Hellfire. Goal is simple. Divide into groups. Locate the Alpha and eliminate on sight. Disoriented zombies won't pose a threat. So you can safely use boats to get to the English Channel along the Somme. The British Navy ship will pick you up once you arrive. In order to make yourself stealthier. Please, put on these athletic suits. You look so good. Thanks. Why are you so fat, Russia? You have arrived at your destination. Green light, everybody. You are the hope of Paris and all France. Break the enemy and return safe and sound. Godspeed. While NG obsolete troops landed in the city of Amiens to carry out sabotage in the rear of the zombies, the German army annexed the Maginot Line and deployed guns in the direction of France to guard its border. Thus, it was possible to organize a solid line of defense from Switzerland to Luxembourg. Belgium, under the command of Luxembourg, with the support of the Netherlands and Germany, conducted an active offense to drive the zombies away from the nature reserves and dense forests, thus preventing the growth of the zombie horde. In Italy, the message from the quarantine zone has stopped. French border guards began to notice small groups of zombies in the buffer zone. Austria also reports zombies near its borders. From that moment on, the north of Italy is considered lost. Due to supply problems and risk of being surrounded, the troops on the Arno River are forced to surrender their positions and retreat to the fortress of San Marino. San Marino and Rome, with the support of the Vatican, are still on the defense. But for how long? In Europe, Poland has become a new hotbed of infection. There are reports of zombie attacks everywhere in the city of Gdansk. The local government could not take action quickly, and all 750,000 people living there joined the ranks of zombies. Dinia became the next fallen city. In the west, the forest area has turned into a pasture for growing eggs and creating a new hordes of zombies. Heavy weapons were sent from NATO military bases to deter and eliminate the threat. At the request of Poland, the Russian Baltic fleet began a massive artillery bombardment of coastal cities, which to some extent helped to contain the infection. Hurry up! We don't have much time! 
Close it. Ten thousand people on board. Excellent. I've never met such a cheap labor force. Here's your money. People are willing to work for food just to get away from here. In the summer of 2022, a ship with infected refugees left the port of Qingdao and arrived in the United States 10 days later where it crashed on the coast of California. The containers opened and the virus began to spread uncontrollably in the western United States. The National Guard forces were alerted, but the unclear status of the situation made it difficult to contain the infected until Plan 8888 was adopted. Zombie apocalypse were to happen, the last place. Hmm? After the shipwreck, the zombies began their expansion into Northern California. Dense forests of national parks allowed zombies to move unnoticed. Small towns could not fight back because of the uncertain situation. One by one, the inhabitants of the cities joined the ranks of zombies. Finally, having created a horde, the zombies headed to San Francisco, Oakland, and Sacramento. Thanks to rumors about zombies, residents of Santa Rosa, together with the police, were able to organize a defense, but were surrounded. I think we got them. That's for sure. <laughs> C Commander, we're surrounded in Santa Rosa. We require evacuation. And who is your opponent? Zombies. Sir, are you sure about this, Lieutenant? That's right, sir. We caught one. It's a zombie. Just like in the movies. Hey, you two. Go away! Did I make myself unclear? Stupid people. Understood. Hang on guys, help us on the way. So, things are bad. Northern California is infected. Our enemy is a zombie. Therefore, the plan 888 is activated. Stage 1, intelligence service. We need to study the enemy in order to take effective methods of dealing with him. For our safety, we send drones to the infected area. Stage 2, general mobilization. We need to arm the whole country so that everyone can defend themselves on their own. On stage 3, we are quarantining the entire West Coast. No one will leave this area until further notice. Stage 4. Fortifications. In order to reduce the risk of infecting the country, it is necessary to build walls from north to south in Nevada. It is also necessary to strengthen all military facilities in the western part of the country. Santa Rosa is requesting support. Send an AC-130 there. Send the National Guard and Armored Divisions to Sacramento and San Francisco. 
and God bless you. Target acquired. Open fire! America began to build a protective barrier and pull together an army to strengthen. Area 51 has become the main zombie control center on the west coast. AC-130 circling over Santa Rosa to provide fire support. The National Guard from the Air Force bases went to the defense of San Francisco and Sacramento. The drones sent for reconnaissance disappeared in the thick fog without transmitting any information. Meanwhile, zombies have launched an offensive on San Francisco via the Golden Gate Bridge. Traffic jams! Hey, take it easy, gringo! Relax, muchachos! Damn, cops! <sighs> Send reinforcement to the Golden Gate! There are a lot of rabid people here! They're eating us! Looks like they need help. Relax, it's just a scratch. Hey, gringo, what do you have here? People went crazy. Everyone is attacked and bitten. We received an order to shoot to kill and hold out until the military arrives. We're here to help. See. Si. Excellent. Follow me. Damn zombies. Die already. Of grenades. There were more in the trunk. All right. What the fuck? Just my imagination. Oh, the army! The 7th Army Corps of the U.S. Army has arrived to protect the Golden Gate Bridge. At this time, they were covered by the 1st Squadron of the U.S. Air Force consisting of Black Hawk helicopters. Special forces had been sent from Oakland to Richmond to contain the disease and isolate civilians. By this time, the zombies had crossed the Alfred Zampa Memorial Bridge and using the forest went south to the city of the Lafitte. The forces of the 17th Cavalry Regiment are advancing on Sacramento through Stockton. 
Cargo aircraft drops weapons and supplies on the city, thereby arming all civilians. Get down from there. I can't, there's zombies there. Oh. Hey, thanks, pal. I'm out of bullets. And I broke the bed. Hey, look! There's a note here. Let's see, it says, don't let the infected take over the city. Hold the defense until the arrival of the U.S. Army. <laughs> God save America! Huh? Sir! Urgent report, sir. The connection with Santa Rosa is lost. Go on. The AC-130 can no longer provide support due to thick fog over the city. All our drones disappeared into it without a trace. I think our business is bad. Why did the zombies stop attacking? I don't know, man. Guess they were just scared of our Air Force. <laughs> Stay sharp. It looks very suspicious. The fog is thickening. God only knows what lurks in it. Why is he so calm all of a sudden? No idea. I think he feels something. What in the God's name can he possibly feel? It's a brainless creature. HQ? HQ, come in! Can anyone hear me? Where is the aviation? Why aren't we being evacuated? Hey, wake up! Ow! Oh, what, what, what? Zombies, where? I think I see some movement. Stay sharp. Someone hears me. The city is lost. There are no more survivors. <laughs> End of transmission. Santa Rosa is lost. In Oregon, infected people have been spotted in Eugene and Salem. Zombies still move only through forest without going out into the open. Acting preemptively, it was decided to burn the city of Portland to the ground and evacuating all the living to Vancouver. From the very coast of the Pacific Ocean to the city of Hammerston, the 8th US Corps of Engineers mined the Columbia River because there were rappers from Europe that zombies can move underwater. Washington state was well fortified and also received the support of the 4th Division of the Canadian Land Forces, including artillery. So, what do we have here? 
Uh, sir, we have invited Israeli scientists. They have interesting developments regarding the zombie epidemic. Shalom, my friend. Huh? Okay, so what did you learn? Zombies are not dead, but living organisms. The virus kills consciousness in a person, but retains basic functions and instincts. We have identified several types of zombies. Level 1 is a newly infected person, extremely slow and stupid. It is easy to kill by any means at hand. One by one, they do not pose a threat, but gathering in a horde can create problems. Level 2 – Adapted Infected Among the features – increased speed, rudiments of reason and strong skin that can withstand the burst of a machine gun. Uh, there is another third level. Very reasonable and extremely fast. But they, as we know, come from X, which some infected become. X? What kind of X? Uh, yes, sir. Zombies infect a person with something. Thus, over time, it becomes an egg. These eggs are needed to accelerate mutation and grow an army of zombies. Well, that is why in Italy the number of zombies was many times more than the population. To feed the eggs, a biological root system is used, which covers the surface and takes nutrients from the ground. This whole system emits a lot of moisture, which generates fog, which acts as a disguise and creates a microclimate for eggs. Huh, now that makes sense, I guess. But wait, there's more. Zombies have been spotted, which are probably alphas. There's a suspicion that zombies have a collective mind and the alpha gives them orders. Therefore, many lines of defense have fallen. Well, that explains why zombies in California move only through forests. That's right. In addition, forest is a perfect place for growing eggs. <clears throat> How blind we were. Probably these roots covered the trees and shut down all our drones, right? Well, maybe, sir. But we have great news. We have made a prototype of a vaccine and are ready to test it right now. <laughs> Good. Now get started then. And boy, do we have a perfect test subject for this. <laughs> hey, wake up! General's here! Uh, oh, oh, journal! So, who is your test subject? Yeah, some immigrant. We caught him on the Mexican border. Turned out he was infected and we delivered him here. Hmm. Oh, this is the place. Please. He doesn't look like a zombie to me. Oh, does he? One moment. What was that? Well, now he's definitely infected. Uh, well, don't worry about that. Look, the most important thing is a vaccine, and we are going to test it. Shoot it! I think vaccine doesn't work and we need to get the hell out of here. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. 
Guess I have a talent. That's bullshit! You're cheating! Raise the alarm! Load AP rounds! Mutant is here. Die, scum! Hold him! I'll get back up. But, uh... Fine. You heard the general. Get a move on. There was a nuclear explosion in Area 51. What's it? A pure accident or a planned action to cover up the traces of a bad experience? And most importantly, who initiated the rocket launch? Have experiments Has the zombie virus, virus been studied in Area 51? Quiet, dear fellow citizens. Do not panic. The situation is completely under control. No experiments were carried out, 
there was just a technological accident. Mr. President, eyewitnesses report a rocket in the sky before the explosion. Uh, uh, this is our weather probe flying by. That's it, I've given you exhaustive answers, let's end here. This is the entrance to the bunker. Good. We go in, clean up all traces of the trials and leave. open the gate. Maybe you shouldn't do this? We need to make sure that all traces of research are destroyed. Open it. epidemic of zombie virus has spread across the vast territory in China. Efforts to contain it have proven to be ineffective, and panic has gripped the nation. UN troops have suffered heavy losses due to the absence of stable front line. New outbreaks of disease were constantly emerging in the rear at a high speed, creating a threat of encirclement. The surviving units are gradually retreating towards the coast. The Chinese army troops holding the city of Shande suffered a defeat and joined the ranks of zombies, heading towards the city of Changsha. Ten million people were in danger. Hospitals in many major cities, where people were trying to get help, became a new source of disease spread. Once communication with support points was lost, they were bombarded with massive artillery strikes. The inability to control the panic population has forced the government to resort to a total cleanup in the following regions of China, Hubei and Henan. According to some reports, over 80 million people in these areas have joined the ranks of zombies. These territories were recognized as irretrievably lost, and the military began to eradicate any biological species for 100% isolation of the virus. The armored vehicles are forming defensive formations, not letting anyone out of the strike zone while aviation and artillery are delivering heavy blows. This helped to break and halt the hordes of the zombies that were actively advancing into densely populated areas, but it did not stop the spread of the virus. The armored vehicles continued to slowly advance forward, clearing territories and killing anyone they encountered along the way. Zombies, soldiers, and even civilians.
Troops of Western China are holding their ground at the foothills of the Tibetan mountains with great success. It is unknown why, but strong winds and low temperatures emanating from Tibet are greatly impending the zombie hordes advance to the west. To the east of Xi'an, one of the most vulnerable sections of the front, zombies were heading north towards the Great Wall of China. The army lacked the strength to stop their advance, and the armored units had ran out of ammunition and fuel. In a hurry, the inhabitants of Gansu and Ningxia provinces were sent to build a southern extension of the Great Wall to prevent the zombies from flanking them. The Great Wall of China is an excellent barrier against the zombies' northern movement. In the province north of the wall, a mobilization has begun to defend China. Mongolia has offered its assistance and united its forces to send troops. The day has come when Mongolia will show the world its greatness. Let's show these disgusting zombies whose horde is stronger. But sir, why do we need bows? And horse is not even real. Silence! These are the attributes of great Mongolia. We honor our ancestors. <clears throat> Forward! The wall is close. I think he is crazy. Yeah, that's why I brought normal weapons and the truck. The Great Khan and his horde has finally arrived to conquer, uh, to defend our, <laughs> I mean, your wall. Great, please follow me. The central gates are open, and we continue to receive refugees. The zombies are not too many. They were spotted here, here, and over here. Our frontal line forces are managing to eliminate the threat so far. Engineers are setting up barbed wire and minefields. While snipers keep watch over rocky terrain to prevent any sneak attacks. The Mongolian forces arrived just in time. We've stationed them in the most vulnerable areas where we lacked our own fighters. Two 50mm machine guns are mounted on towers and one is at the gate. Recently, the engineering corps sent us 10 120mm mortars, and the Mongolians brought the cannon. It may not be much, but we have enough ammunition for them. I think we can hold out. Uh, do you think we're going to make it, or not? With this, it's hard to say. <laughs> now this is the territory of the Great Horde! And the... Uh, and the China, of course. Zombies! Zombies at the walls! Asia is a race, with China struggling to contain the infected. Japan, an iron nation that offered hope for salvation, has also been hit by the zombie virus.
The first outbreaks of the infection in Japan were reported in the island of Kyushu in the cities of Kumamoto, Fukuoka, and Kita Kyushu. Due to the active spread of the virus in Kita Kyushu, residents of the island were cut off from the rest of the country and could not be evacuated by rent. Bridges were destroyed and guards were stationed along the entire shore north of the city. The artillery conducted intense shelling of the coastline. Getting out of here. Later on, the Japanese Navy closed all sea ports to prevent spread of the disease. Infected individuals from Kumamoto actively moved into the forest to cultivate a new horde of zombies. Soldiers in Sasebo are on high alert. The city is fortified and all residents are locked in their homes. We have taken preemptive action to activate Mountain Aso to flood the valley with lava, eliminating the first wave of zombies. Due to the eruption of the volcano, extensive fires broke out into the forest in the south of the island. This greatly reduced the zombie population and partially failed their goal of growing a new horde. To the north of the volcano, zombies were able to grow a new offspring. And some of them headed towards the city of Kurume, where military forces were sent for protection. What the hell is going on here? Hey! Look! Hey! Alright gentlemen, we need to organize defense in this sector. Move it! You two, head up the street for rookout duty. We need to know when the zombie horde arrives. Uh, uh, Commander, do you know what's happening here? The zombie outbreak. We have been ordered to establish a stronghold and hold out all positions for as long as possible. I recommend you stay with us. A couple of extra hands won't hurt. Millions of zombies from China are heading towards India through Myanmar. To prevent the infection of 2 billion people living in India, Myanmar, Laos and Vietnam decide to set up an outpost to cut out the world's path and give India time to strengthen its defense.
Well, while the zombies are still few in number, we need to establish an outpost. I suggest clearing the forest in this area and building walls from the materials we can use. While the walls are being built, send advanced squad to set up the sandbags and barbed wire. This way we can hold out for some time. We need to build platforms on the trees and make bridges between them. This way the zombies won't be able to reach us. Remember, behind us is Hanoi, where our mothers and children are waiting for us. Make sure zombies will never get there. Behind the walls! 
Oh, oh, finally! Attention, everyone! Retreat behind the walls! Presence of a... 